All right, so we have uh, the dashboard before us, and we are going to explore how to build our website with a new website builder. So the approach to how do you get these plugins? You come here. I've opened this plugin inside the menu in a new tab and now it has opened up. So click on add new and I would really appreciate that you are practicing alongside watching this video because that is the only way you can get to know understand and master how to build your own website in this search bar i will type elementor and it will automatically provide every plugin that is related to the keyword that i have searched for now we have our search results and we have different plugins listed out for us we have the elemental website builder we have elemental add-ons for elemental we have elemental editor we have real elemental add-ons we have premium add-ons for elemental we have elemental elements kit elemental they are a lot now i'll just for now install the website builder that we want to work with and this is it so install it okay we've active we've installed uh, our plugin so now it's time to activate it so go ahead and activate and then after this uh we'll go into building all right it has been activated so let's go to plugins click on it again and you will see that it is uh now included in the plugins page yeah so our plugin has been installed and we are good to go so it will be a good practice to check out the settings of this plugin uh, let's see but i will not do anything yet i'll wait for us to start building and then when we get there we'll come back like we did for the teams and for every other section of the web page we'll come back to set the settings uh, as required so now let's go back to pages and build what we have on the figma right So now that the pages page has successfully opened, we'll go to home. I'll open it in a new tab still. <laughs> go to home and then open it so that we can start building with Elementor. Now, the next section we'll be working with, right? Click on edit with Elementor. I'll just do that here. Later on, I'll adjust this. I can't adjust it now since I've already clicked on this. I'll adjust this so we can be full canvas. But now it is only going to, uh, we are only going to be able to work with the width size of the default page builder that is that is the gutenberg page builder right we'll not be able to expand it but we'll come back once this has opened and do that okay so now uh our page has opened up and i'm sure this is familiar this was already designed with the Gutenberg page builder. 
when we have not installed the elemental page builder you remember right so now we we'll start building the page as quick as possible the first thing we'll do is let's get ourselves familiar with this side panel now this is what we call the widget panel like the elementals widget panel and widgets are the blocks you would use to design in your project right take for instance now you have elements like text buttons icons containers sections images videos there are a lot for you to view them here they are in the form of widget so you just drag the widget of the element you want to uh, make use of and you are good to go all right so i won't delete this yet so let's go ahead and uh, come up with our own design so from the figma file right we have this section here which is the hero section we are global logistics lead providers so to do that we need a background we need a hero text we need a subtitle i mean a paragraph text and we need a button so i've exported these images already all the images you are seeing here are already exported there so i'll just go ahead and build the first thing i'll do is to create a new section so to get my background and to build the hero section i'll start by creating a new container you can choose create container and this is a recent update from elemental we'll talk about using grid later on but let's work with flex for now and looking at the figma file we just have our element arranged from the left hand side so i'll select a column two column container and then from there i'll start designing now i want to explain this side panel this is where you make adjustments to everything you are working whatever widget you selected this is where you um, make adjustments to them you can make changes here uh, you can change the direction of what of how the elements within this container look now take for instance let's change it to a vertical layout you can see that it's now stacked vertically as against the horizontal direction it was before you can do a lot of things here you can play around uh, but let's just focus on what we want to do as much as possible now this is where you add styling to your containers i mean in fact your widget the style tab is where you add different styles to your element and you can do a lot of things in the advanced as we go on you'll see the things you can do with each stuff now i want to add a background to this i'll come here choose classic and go to choose an image there's an image already the image of the background <laughs> but if you but if you do not have the image here what you have to do is click on upload files select files and you can navigate to where your files your images are on your system and you can uh, upload them here now i'll select this now this is what we have then i'm not going to do anything for now so you can see how it goes now we have an heading text so i'll come back select this widget icon <laughs> that's what we we'll call it but it's an hamburger sort of then heading drag it if, uh, can you see how the pink indicator is appearing to let you know where you want to put it you can put it here but we are using here according to what we have on the figma file then i'm going to change this from h2 to h1 right good now we also have a paragraph text and i'm going to bring in the text editor under the heading text right that's that and then we we need a button so let's bring in a button to still under the paragraph text now that we have this let's quickly style this now we want from what we have on the figma we want this image to be seen fully sort of and then we have some padding yeah you can see we have some padding to the left to the right and to the top and bottom now let's 
get to that now to do that what i'll do is simple i'm going to look at my navigator panel now your navigator panel is that section that contains everything you have designed in the order of the hierarchy your elements will be listed here according to how you have them arranged on your design now i'm going to do something i like naming my containers i like it naming them a lot it simplifies my work when i need to go specifically to any element and two over time you have a lot of layers here so you want to know which one is which so double click on it and i'll call it um hero hero section that's the hero section and then i'll call this d i'll just leave it like that then okay this is the left div and then this is the right div but there is nothing in it so i'll just rename it we are not putting anything there because we don't have anything on our uh figma all right now we have our padding right now that we have the padding would we'll work on it now let's give this a padding now you can now see that you know what section or what element you are focusing on i'm going to give this a padding tool and i'll delink the values let's give this a top padding now padding is the spacing that is around your um, element internally i'm going to give it a padding of 120 but that padding will be applicable to the top let's see what i'm talking about now i've not spoken a lot about patterns and margins right but to understand what padding is and what margin is padding can be described as the space between elements within your container or an element so let me explain with this if i want to give this text a padding now what i'll do is i'll come here and what i'm trying to say is within this container of this uh heading i would create space around it within it not externally but internally let's see an example so let's say i'm not going to delink it so let's leave it like that and then give it a padding of 32. now this now has 32 spacing to the left to the top to the to the right to the top to the left and to the bottom and you will now discover also that the text is more or less as if is contained within this space so that is how to understand padding now comparing that with margin this is the part of the whole concern it's going to help you to uh, really really understand what is going on and how you can determine your spacing all right now i'm going to style this paragraph text with what as white color yes that's good now let me give it a can i give it a background yeah so let's give it a padding right a padding of 24 pixel but you will understand what we are talking about now i'm going to give this okay i'll give this text a background color
I want to fill this space inside this text. Uh, I'll just do our primary color for now. Now you can see this space. Let me change the text color to white for proper accessibility. Yeah, so this orange space is internal to this to the border of this text. We already gave this a padding of 24, right? Let's give this a background color also then we will now give it a margin so we can from here understand the difference between padding and margin so for this i'll also give it a color let me see a color to work with fine now you can see that this is contained within the element just around it now let's give it a margin layout and let's give the margin of 32 now you can see that the space we have for margin is now external to what we have for padding as you can see here so that is how to understand margin and margin and padding as I to understand margin and padding. Yeah, so I guess and I hope that solves it for us. So I'm going to remove the padding now for the paragraph text. Let me remove that and turn it back to zero. You can see now. I've reduced the part and you can see that the box is now aligned to the left at this instance where the text is starting to now let's remove the uh, margin to you can see that we've restored it back so lastly let's remove the color and to remove the color all you just have to do is come to the color itself and restart it now I'll copy the text from Figma. Control C and let's paste it here. It's better to come and paste it here. All is better. Yeah, we have it. And that's how you I want to remove the space below that. All right, fine. Now, okay, we still have this. Let's remove this color also. And we don't need this padding actually. Neither do we need the background color. Alright, so let's give this the bigger container now. You can see that it has now selected the hero section container itself. Give it a bottom padding of 122. Let's see. It's making sense, right? For now, let's leave this like this. Let me see the text for the hero section. It says we are global logistics providers. So let's edit that. And the font size from our typography type scale in Figma is 61. So I'll give that 61 and we are good. For now, let's leave this like this. Right. Now, always learn to update your progress. So I'm going to update it now. Finally, let's start with the button for 
our error section because we'll practically be using it repeatedly that is um where consistency comes in and on figma if you are a ui ux designer that's where the work use of uh components and variants come in unfortunately i'm still trying to learn how to make use of component and variant in wordpress but for now i'll just do this uh i think the important text we have there is says explore now so i'll go back to change the text to explore now oh and this is what we are building guys and we are doing very well i'll save this again well before i leave the hero section right let's finally style the background itself so i've clicked on the container undo and uh, i'll come to style so i can adjust the things i mean the image that we have now leave the image resolution is good position i'll make it center center okay repeat no repeat yeah then display size you can try different display sizes that you want there's no specific one to go with you can decide to use the custom size or contain but i'll go with the cover with this we have our hero section let's go on to design the next session to design the next section of this website let's see what it looks like one more time so uh let's check it out on figma I'm going to skip this shipping details section right i'll skip it i would like to focus on uh the minimize supply chain so let's look at the elements that are contained within this section we are done with the error section so let me collapse this now this is our focus the first element is the picture this image we are looking at right then we have the containers heading that is we have the then we have the heading for this section we have a paragraph text for this section we have a button and we have these counters now one thing that you should be able to uh analyze at this point is this is just a two grid container if you understand one as a block this is just one and the second and then within this second block you have one two three three four now four vertical blocks and within this the fourth within the fourth block you have three horizontal blocks now we'll see how that will be achieved so go ahead to export uh this image and we'll design together to design the second section i'm going to have to create a new container right let me collapse this one thing you should know that you can make a duplicate of any element or widget or container so i can easily duplicate this but for the sake of us learning and fully understanding what we are doing let's create it together so at this point i want a section or a container between the hero section and these existing 
content so flexbox yes and then we are going with this now we have started it already and that is the beginning of our journey what i'm going to do is in bringing my image widget now this is the image widget here don't forget that what we have here on the right is a heading we have a paragraph text right we have a button now i'm not going to go ahead and create a new button because i have a button here already so all i just have to do is duplicate this and drag it to this place that is the third element there we have one more element to go and that is the counter so i'll just search for counter here and i'll bring it now you can see that what we'll do now right we'll duplicate what we have here before we duplicate that let us round up what we are doing with this so come here upload your files and then navigate your system to choose the file you want to work with i now have the image in my media and i'm going to select and we are good now that we have this we'll, what is needed is to set our padding so i have an idea of what padding we used in figma let's go back to figma to see it now this is the entire section for this container i'm going to click on this which is the next child of this uh, of this about us section so with that selected i'll hold alt or option key on my keyboard and then drag my mouse to the nearest border so you can see that the padding around this container is 80 but for us selecting this container it is now our margin do you understand what i'm just trying to say like if it was this big container that we selected then checking it out like this would have been padding measurement right but now we are clicking on the child and measuring with the parent container so for that now because it is external now to the child element it's called margin so 80 margin or 80 padding let's see how that can be done in wordpress so i'm guessing that i would like to do padding instead of margin and i'll just press 80 and as you can see now we have the spacing like we have it in figma what i'll do next is copy my text for this heading come here and paste it and um, the font size that we set in the typography style guard is 44 and our color is black so let's work with black let's do this this works this, uh, then i'll copy the paragraph text we have to paragraph text there so let me clear these tags yeah 
then I'll make a duplicate of it and copy in the second paragraph text too. And now in this particular tutorial, I'll make the link to this Figma file available. So once you are ready to start, check out for the link for the Figma file and you can have access to the design also so you can build as you watch this now this is looking interesting and amazing i'm telling you we have the button already but the content of the button says read more so click on the button and edit the text read more now for this we will style it as we saw in the design of figma so let's check it out again so i have the text as medium and the size as 44 and then we have this as 16 in three satisfied customers so we are seeing 40k plus customers let's do that i'll click on the element i want to edit now here says 40k 40 right then the suffix is k plus you understand the, we've done that the title says satisfied customers good let's see if we can reduce the font size of this 40k plus we come to number edit it 44 looking good the next thing we want to do is the color that was used uh, let's look at it. It's our secondary color, right? You remember that blue? So I'll pick it up from Figma. The blue, or oh, we come here and select the color code. Anyone you choose to do, it's fine. I copied it. It says twelve twenty nine six six. Go back to WordPress now. This is the text color here. First, let me see if I set it. No. Now I will click on this, right click on this color code and paste. Then I would add it to the global color palette, which in the in Figma was the yeah, color style guide. So I'll say secondary. secondary color and create now we have this there's something you need to understand now looking at this container which we are going to rename as about us right you realize that we have two containers child i mean two children we have to children containers we have the right no this is the left sorry we have the left container and we have the right container now within this right container earlier on i was explaining when we we're looking at it on the figma design that this last block has three other blocks you understand so that means we have to contain this inside another container then we'll now duplicate this and arrange it in a horizontal flow let's do that i'll come here 
I'll click on the container and drag it here. So it is contained inside what we have here. Then I will now bring this in it into it. That's the first. If I duplicate this, right. If I duplicate this counter, what we'll have will be will be that it should be stacked vertically. Let's see. You can see. And we need it three times, but instead of vertical. But instead of vertical direction, we need it in the horizontal direction. So what I'll do is click on the container that is hosting it. I mean that is containing it and come here and set the flow to horizontal. You can see. Now let's see the way others are 12 plus years experience and 25 trusted partner. So for these we are removing the K and we are working with 12. Says yes experience. And twenty-five trusted partners. This is not needed. This is great. One more thing we will need to do is to ensure that we have it arranged and centralized. But Let's see how we can format this such that all of them can be on the same line. For these, I'll clear the gaps between them. Yeah. Then I'm guessing that I will have to remove reduce the font size of the text. And to do that, I'll come to title and make title 16. You can see now what you can do instead of coming to change the styles individually you can right click on the layer copy it and then come to another layer that is similar and paste the style so you can see now that the year experience has reduced in size also paste the style also here and now we have more space here, so we can rightly space out the element of this container. So I'm going to do for the column, I'll just do 16. Okay, we have more space. 25. I mean, 24. I gave it 24. And this is out we are building our project and I'm sure that you are really really enjoying this so let me finally uh, start what we have inside here yes and then I think let's see if I should remove padding okay Now we are good to go. Let's update this so we can save our progress. And then we'll preview. You can preview your changes here. When you click on that eye icon, that is the eye icon at the bottom here, it opens it in a new tab and you can see everything you are working on, similar to what we have on Figma. Now that we have designed this section, let's go on to the next section. All right, so we'll continue with the next section. Looking at what we have in Figma, we have the simplify your logistical needs, and we have four uh, frame blocks. We have four blocks below it, and within those blocks, we have 
this title text and we have this paragraph text or subtitle text as you might want to prefer it let's design it now on wordpress all right so what i will do is click on this use a flex box and then i'm going to look for something similar to what i have or what i would need to design so let's go with um let's go with this now i'm deleting that let me undo you can undo with ctrl z or command z now i'm deleting this because what i have on the figma spans throughout this container that is for the edit heading i mean the heading of this container or section as we might call it so i don't need this now coming to this because initially there were two boxes or two blocks the width was at 50 percent of this entire block this entire container it was at 50 percent of this entire container right so what i'll do is i'll increase it to 100 percent now it has occupied the entire container i will now then bring my heading i'll just duplicate this then drag it inside here yeah now that we have that look at it here i'll centralize the content very good and i'll copy what i have in figma and come and paste it here so select the heading element and replace it here so you have the heading now going on we have four blocks below this so i'm going to bring in four containers right so let's drag this here all we now have to do is duplicate this three more times so one two and three oh three more times so yeah one two three four however this is not the way it is laid out in figma on figma it is laid out horizontally not vertically so i'll go to the parent container for this children containers and i will choose the direction to be horizontal once i do that i have then laid out horizontally now I want to show you something on Figma. So let's go back there. What you are seeing here, right? You discover that the top part of these images, especially the four of them now, are clear. But at the bottom, it's as though we have a shade of black. And the essence of that is to help make um, the right of visible. So to do that, normally what we would have need in WordPress is an image element that will contain our images. However, it might not work directly like that. It might not work directly like that so there's something you could do about that go to the container itself because you want to be able to add an overlay at that bottom where that black is so i will not make use of image element instead i'll make the container itself to be filled with the image such that the container 
has the image as its background then we will now be able to apply overlay now to do that i'll come to the container which is this container now let me know <laughs> confuse you right let's call this uh what do we call it in field now tall section so we'll do the same here call it tall section third session we have the header container which contains the editing text element you understand so i'll just call this header and then we have this holding the all children element the four children element so let's call these images All right, then we can now call this first. Name it in a way that it's easy for you to understand, right? Second, I mean, I will not even do all of this, I will name them better. But the yeah, something like that. So you can name yours first D, second D, I've named my third D, fourth D. So for the first now, you can know what we are working on. That's the essence of naming your conventions or your elements. Like this was not named, so I can't actually tell what it is. But if I name it counter, when I look at it, I'll be able to tell that all. Oh, fine this is what this is containing or representing like i know that the entirety of this is the about us and after that about us the next section i have is the tour section which we are working on currently and then after that i have the container which we built already at at the initial stage using gutenberg page builder you understand so let's speed this up first image and for the first image i'll go to background under style i'll choose a classic and select my image so let's do it selected now let's style the image now let's style the image center center cover no repeat right now on figma also we have those text liquid transportation and uh, premium tankers so let me just copy this now okay fine so what we'll do is we'll bring it now into wordpress <coughs> okay before i bring it to wordpress let me show you something still now if you pay attention these two elements right these two text we can decide to make them contained within the same container right so i've given it an auto layout now now in wordpress that means i'll create a container that will host this title element and text element. So let's get to it.
because this is a container of its own i'm going to bring in a container here yes now you can see that there's a container inside the first box or the first block so let's say then i need a heading and i need a paragraph text so you can now see that they are all listed there right within the text container within the first image what i'll do is pretty simple i'm going to turn this to an h5 let's see how small it is let's see h4 fine and then replace the text here with what i copied earlier all right then the second text premium tankers which serves for the paragraph text here yeah all right now we are good to go but let's give this a padding the image itself so i'm going to give it a top padding of about 120 let's see if that is visible enough not visible enough uh let's increase the width I think 164 should be okay. For grid system, let's do 180 then. Okay, fine. 180 is okay. Then padding left, let's do 12. Padding right, 12 also. Bottom, let's do 12. All right. Now you can see that it looks like what we have. So let's apply the overlay now. Go back to style and over background overlay. We are going to do gradient, and you will see the change that will occur now. Uh, this will be black. Now it has overlaid over this, but I'm going to now make the top side transparent right let me give this another color so you can see it properly yeah so i just want to make this transparent and then change how it is and then the location you can see that right so let me change the angle good and uh, change the angle a little bit okay so yeah we want that gradient like effect then make it black so now you can see that we have that black like uh, gradient as we have it on pigment now what to do next is just change the style of this text to white it's the same for this and let me reduce the gap between them awesome and that is it I'm only working with the container inside the container image. But I'll increase the padding now since the padding has reduced. Let's do 200 at the top. Awesome. 16 by the side. And then maybe 24 at the bottom. 
28. All right. Now, we have our first image. So what do you do now? Instead of me replicating all of this, right? I'll delete it. And then I will make a duplicate of the first one. And call it second div now. Duplicate it again. And at the third. And then you can now delete this. And finally, one more time. And then you can delete this. So when you collapse this widget, you can be able to tell which is which. So all I have to do now is replace the images of these containers, right? So let's go to media, this image. So now just bring in the remaining three images by going to upload files, select the files I want to upload and we are good. uploading I have to upload one more um, all right so for the second image we are making use of this right let's see Okay, so yeah, we are correct. That's why naming your asset is very, very important. It helps you. I named this when I was exporting it to image two. And now I can easily see from here that that it is for to image. So perfect. Perfect. The third, I'm changing it also. So image four, so image three, cool. Changed also the fourth and final image. Yeah. So I originally used top four here. So as far as it helps you to identify what you need to use you are good to go so this is specialized transport come here yeah ocean transport and it's just as simple as that guys Let's tidy this up and bring it to conclusion. Just copying my text from Figma and replacing them here. All right, so finally, let's space uh, this container, that is the container holding the images. Let's space it out, but this time I'll give it a margin so that it can be spaced between the container housing this and this container. 
so i'm going to give it a margin of top of 40 yeah and that is good we are doing very well i think we add a padding for this it's so let's give this a padding also at the top 80 and then at the bottom 80 and that is how we have successfully designed the tour screen i mean the tour section of our website now going on let's go on to design this next session yeah right provide timely and cost-effective service so i'll see you i'll see you shortly all right welcome back and we are going to the next session in this next session uh we're looking at how to design this value proposition section like the the whole of this section right it's interesting <laughs> so let's break it down we already know from how we designed this section we know how to get our header now paragraph text paragraph text buttons and counters we also know how to insert images right but this looks like it's going to be a very difficult thing to do however it's not difficult just break it down identify the elements that are included within the section you want to design now let's break this down for the left hand side we already know at this point that this section is practically broken down into just two blocks we have the left block and the right block now the right block is what contains the header the paragraph text the icons the text and the button why the left block contains the image and this blue rectangle shape right so how do we get to design this now let's get into WordPress. The first thing we we'll need to do is to create the main container. And I'm going to go with this for now. Just stay with me. Now, within this container, what we have on the Figma, we have two blocks the left block and the right block so let's do that i'm going to bring a container in here that's one and i'll duplicate it to make it two now that we have the two let me rename this container right fine now we've renamed our container and we know the element we want in this first container we want an image however let me show you something this can be described to be our first container the left container that we have on WordPress. Now, that taken, we have the image that is not inside this container. It's not in it. It's like it's floating. And also, it looks as if it is floating into this area. However, if you look at this, you will see that this is a block of its own so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this image 
on inside a container inside a container and that container will now be inside this container let's go and check it out we have the first container and we have the second container right now let's do something for this main the main container holding them let's give it a background color let's give it this gray color now this container there's nothing in it as you can see i'll bring another container inside that would house the image that we want to work with now the essence of that is it is the container that is housing the image that we will now make to float not this one because this is not floating it is the image that is floating so let's bring a container inside here this is my container here now this is empty but we'll now bring an image inside so I'm bringing an image inside it now. This is an image. This is the image you want to work with. I'm copying this. Paste this thing. Paste thing. Select. Now we have this, right? This container is what will not carry the blue color. So let's style it and give it bloom. Now that we've done this, we've differentiated this container from the main container housing the entire element right and give it a white color now the reason why i'm styling this is so you'll be able to understand what we're about to do This container or that we just tied with the white color is what is holding the image that is it is inside this container that the image is staying fine we will now make it this container will now float don't forget that this one is the blue container I want you to understand as seamlessly as possible right this is something that would now do this to I'm going to give it an absolute position. You can see an absolute position. So the essence of an absolute position is to be able to control it the way you want. The main container. Now to see what we are doing properly. Now that we've made it absolute, we can see that what was here before this point, like as now aligned directly at the bottom of the value proposition container. So if I make any adjustment to the value proposition container, it will affect everything going in below it. Why for this container is not going to do anything because we've made it absolute with more or less uh make the make it we've practically make it to float so it is not contained within this container element and the reason for that is because we've changed the position to be absolute if i change it back to default it goes back to seat and you see that this is adjusted Oh, I need it to float actually. All right, now to drag these guys down, I mean the content of this container here. Let's give our value proposition a fixed height like this. Right. So you can see that this is no longer appearing on top of it however it is still floating <laughs> uh let's do 500 okay 
okay uh, 500 is okay for now okay now i would adjust how this is going to appear on figma it was floating and there was a gap by the left hand side so let's do that and how to do that is set your horizontal offset value like this let's do 60 should do 52 and the vertical offset also uh let's do it like this maybe we should increase the height of this and it's not hard to do just increase it from here now we can bring this container to the middle offset vertical offset yeah that is good need to do works or uh, since we are using four point grid system let's stick with 80 Now you can give this main container a padding value as you like it. Let's see what 32 is like. Okay, I think we've been using 40, so let's just go with 40. Okay. One more thing, or some few more things to do. Let's duplicate our heading. I know where I'm going to from a navigator panel, so I don't need to bother myself a lot. I'll just drag it inside here. Text editor two. I'm not seeing what is there. <laughs> let's style it rather. Okay, let us do something. Uh, let's take away this gray color now. We are done with that. Let's remove it. And for the container holding the heading and text, which is our left, our right container, which is our right container, I'll give it a padding. It's a padding of 24. Okay, let's increase that to 32. Let's do 40. Okay, I think that is looking like it. Or 52. Okay, fine. Now, this looks like what we have, right? So, we we'll just copy our texts and begin to paste inside here we have that we have this also now what is remaining is the icons that we were working with um we have a safe package shipped everywhere global 24 in-time delivery transfer friend and we have a button so we are looking at one two three four five six all right question is how do we go about it first of all Let us export all of these icons. I've selected the I'm going to export them. Very right. Export. I've exported them as PNG. 
Let's go back to our dress now. There's something we call the icon box. Come here, type icon. You can play around to see what each of these guys do, how they perform. You can upload a lot of things here. Now, you can also work with image box just come to your search bar here and type image drag in the image box now it depends on you but let me show us how this works right for the icon box this is the icon box here i want to show us the theory of them now just for the icon, the icon, you can choose from various icons that are available in Elementor, they are default, right? Depends on you. Also, you can choose to upload. However, you have to be a pro user, like a user of the Elementor Pro version to be able to do that. So, you are limited. Let's check out the icon box. The icon box also, the same thing applies to it. You have to be an Elementor Pro user to be able to add your own icon. So this is to tell us that what we are about to do, because we are not an Elementor Pro user, we cannot bring in those icons. We are limited. For the image box, we can import our elements as images and we can continue our design so it depends on you if you have access to the elementor pro version you can go ahead and continue with the icon box but for the sake of this tutorial i'm not going to be using the elementor pro version yet let's just work with the image box so now that we have the image box you already know how to get it well, let me get to it again come to your widget panel search for widget called image box and drag it here you are good to go now pay attention to the fact that our icon box was displayed in a certain arrangement vertically and horizontally we have two on a row and three within a, each column three per column so we have two major columns or we can say we have three rows you understand three rows of blocks so to do that what we'll do is go back to wordpress now that is why at the very beginning we needed to structure out our website that is what is helping us here or else we will not be able to understand why we are about to do some of the things we want to do or why we've taken the steps in arranging our elements the way we've done them so far do you understand now for this i'll delete this i'll delete this too and i'll bring in a container first this is a container and within this container there are going to be two image boxes if it works fine but if it does not then we'll try another method so this is the first one and duplicate it this is the second one now let's see if this space will be enough you can see that we are good now will style the image box and i'm going to go with the left image position for the content i don't think i have anything to put there now this is still maintaining this height because 
it is on within the same container as this if i remove this content now the height will adjust so let's delete this and then make a duplicate of this no that's a mistake make a duplicate of the image box instead so we can see that we are good to go and i want to do something so that we can have more space because our image box here and the container it is seated in is it into this space so let's for the mother container remove every part that might still be there uh, zero and zero to the left then what i'll do is reduce the offset of this container the horizontal offset just a little i think this is better so that i can now reduce the padding that i gave this earlier yeah this is better so we have enough space inside here all right now let's get to working on the image boxes i would bring in those icons straight away the six of them now please ensure that you always uh, export your assets right but also ensure that they are of less uh, size values because of you want a fast website a fast loading website the first one is save package save package and i'm working with this so i'll just rename it here and select it okay we can't see it right let's hope that i think the reason why we can't see it is because the image is too small the image is too small let's see if we can increase it it's too small so i'll go back now and i would export those icons again at the higher value what we have currently they are in bytes so it's very very small so i'll just export them very quickly and i'm going to go to our media let's go to our dashboard I see the size very very small i'm going to delete it this also let's upload new files let me see if this will be better So we've imported the images. Let's get back to our design. You can delete this first, then work with this.
so you can see that it has appeared but it's still small let us see if we can increase the volume oh fine so we can i'll give it eight and then i would like to align this to the center yep now change the text of the heading <laughs> let's adjust it again okay fine we are good now and the color of the text we we'll change it here please feel free to watch this over and over and again let me use our text uh okay this icon uh, or the image is tricky let's see if it will adjust okay it has adjusted fine what are we doing in your simple way just drag this or better still let's see if we can format it here good the width you can do something you can clear it right but i'll give it 50 so that this can be 50 also I want to increase the image size. So I'm going to go to the image and I'll give it about 20. Yes, that works. Now let's duplicate this. And I'll delete this. with what we just have all right now we can now duplicate this container itself three more times so the next content for the icon box is ship everywhere but i think instead of using to we'll work with the description instead so i'm going to change what we have here on the first um image box let me increase this size okay something like 24 is okay copy this let's see if it will be able to style this for us we can't so let's edit this bring it here okay it did awesome so now we have this and then we can change our image box it should be the ship image then for the third i would uh bring in global tracking because that's the content there don't forget that we're working with the description so we are going to remove the heading 
and I'm going to paste this style again. Then the image is for global. So select it. Yeah. I'll just duplicate this so I can delete what is here. Oh no. Four seven support. Yeah, like that. Let's duplicate this also. I will delete this and then copy this. I mean. Comparing the content for that box, the uh, in time delivery, and choose the image. I think is a clock. Finally, transparent pricing is what Figma says for the last image box. So let's change this to this. Now this is how we've been able to format this right. We want this on a single line so let us adjust the size of the description let's do 20 and see okay so copy you have to adjust everything the style paste style paste style paste the style paste the star and this is how we are able to get this done finally the button so let's bring the button you know where it is right the first the first dot so the button is coming underneath here I'll bring it out. Let's drag it up a bit. Yeah. And the last one. So among every other thing that is powerful on your wordpress the navigator panel is very very powerful also so for the button it says read more so we are good all right let's compare with what we have on figma oh before that let's update our design then let's preview to preview click on this eye icon here and it will load up so we have the website here and we can see that we have it very very designed the way we have it on film except that i'm going to remove this white part now that we give this box so let's come here so i'll remove this color here and let's just remove the padding zero so let's leave it without update it again and let's see what we have here this is what we have for wordpress so far and this is what we have on Figma. We'll come back and work on this testimonial section. So I'll see you in a GFI.
Welcome back to the continuation of the class. For this testimonial section, we are looking at the heading section within the main container. Let us uh, collapse some of these layers. This is what we have. Then we have three blocks, right? This should be add. So by now, you can tell that we would have two containers stacked vertically. One will contain the header. The uh, second will contain these testimonials. Now within the second container, that is below the top container, we are going to have three different blocks. Now within the individual blocks, we are going to have an image, a title, a subtitle, and a paragraph text, right? Okay, let's see how we'll do that here. Yeah. Don't forget our analysis, which will help us when we start designing on Figma. So going back to Figma now, what I'm going to do, I have something that is similar to what we want to recreate, to what we want to create, and it is this section. So what I will just do is make a duplicate of it. Now I've duplicated it, and this is what we have. But I'm going to bring it to be under the value proposition because that's where the uh, testimonials would be. All right. Now that we've done this, let's format our title, right? Please update. And while we are done with the update, I'll come here. I mean, I'll go to Figma and copy the text for the title. I'll paste it here. What our customers say. Let's let's use S customers. Now we are not going to be using this, right? What would work with? Although we have a container already. You can see. Let me name this to container. Then we need three blocks. These blocks are not going to be needed. We don't want to work with this. So I'm going to bring in one more container first. It has nothing in it. So that makes what we have here for but we want to delete all of this so let's delete this duplicate this delete this duplicate this finally okay i won't delete this here now within the of each of these blocks now we rename this. Or let's call it testimony. Let's check out what is on Figma. Image with paragraph text. So for my image, what I will use is an image box. Because it will contain the title and the paragraph text together. Mind you. Let me state it that we have an element or a widget now for testimonials, but I'm not using it. 
for this reason. Let me show you. Now, this is the default widget for Elementor's testimonial design or element. Uh, as you can see, if I align it to the left, we are going to have what we see on Figma. However, the image is placed at the top on Figma. On Elementor here, it is placed at the bottom. And we cannot change that. So that is why I'm building it by myself. And also, I think it's, a, it's an added advantage. Because you see how you can do it yourself also. Alright, so let me delete this. You don't need this. For this icon box, I will stack it to the left. The name to assignment. So the form. Subtitle All right. The image I go and bring in the three images for the testimonials. And by the way, I need to let you know that from ink from the third section, I've not been working with data. I decided to switch off my data. So, so far, so good. I've been building without data on. Don't have to add your data on to build once you are using local once you are using local but to get your to get your templates themes and plugins you need to connect to the internet all right now let's change this to lock or should we use this okay i think this is okay even though we have our Figma design, it's a good practice to try things. Just feel free to try new things. Now, the testimonial itself, I'm going to bring it here. I'll copy it. Paste here. There's one more thing. I'll duplicate it. Because there's a deed. There's a deed there. So we've pasted it. Now we can delete this. Let us make this to be at the center. You can see that you can change the position of the image as you want. I think it will be okay for this. That's good. Well, let me see. If you can close these gaps. Yes, we can. Click on the container that is holding the whole element. I'll give it it. Perfect. Now we have this. All we have to do is you guess right, duplicate it. So
one more time. You can delete this. So all we have to do now is bring in the second and third uh, testimonies. So we have it all here. I'll change the image. This guy. He's to the third person. Oh, they've called Esther. <laughs> yeah. Now update. It and let us preview. As we can see. We are really doing well, very, very well. So let's go on to the next session. I'll just schedule your effortless delivery for exceptional service. So copy this. So let's go back to WordPress. Now what I'll do here, I'll just make a duplicate of this to work on the testimonial section. Uh, sorry, the CTA. So let's call this call to action. All right. Now the title for the header says this. So let's give it central alignment and it has to be white so why the whole container will be blue right all right now we do not need these cards so let's delete them so what i'm going to do is i'll bring in a container yeah. Let's increase the spacing. Okay, fine. Now it is inside here. I would create the form like structure or the form like element that we want to design so i'll just bring another container here and then that container i'll make it to be white in color yes yes then for my border radius I'll give it eight. All right. 
now i'll duplicate this so that it can be the placeholder for the email address so just drag it in okay let's part the container or the, the text with 16 okay that's good and the text says enter your email address edit it all right then we need a button duplicate this and drag it in here change the direction it will be horizontal now for this if I let's do it like this send it to the end Then the text make it to be full with yep yep or do custom then you can increase it as you wish now on figma let's see the old field is no more than this all right so let's get it done here too but first i realize that it's a mistake here So let's correct this now. Let's extend this to the end. Be about eighty, eighty two works. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to set the padding that contains this container so I will set a padding to the right padding to the left with that now we can reduce this to accommodate it more this is nice now since we have this let's see what it will look like on the front page of the website yeah we are doing well doing well uh -huh. <laughs> all right so we have this well i noticed something here too much space and this because he gave this a pattern of i think 40 or 80 and then we also give this a padding so let's remove one of it and i'm going to remove the padding for this container so i'll come here i'm clicking on the handle of the container i'm going to advanced and i'm removing padding top setting it to zero i'll update once i update it will load like you can see now it's loading here on the front end you can see that then let's see it again now yeah this is very very nice now that we have done this we no longer need this remember we built this with the gutenberg page builder right so let's just come to 
our back end and delete everything here since we've deleted that now let's update now that we've updated let's see what we have beautiful beautiful now um we'll be looking at designing the header let's go to figma and see something this is the header right we have the opening logo navigation menus call to action buttons at the footer we have this 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 and this but then that will not be a class for now so with what we've designed on wordpress i'm very sure you are good to go with website design so what we'll do now is make use of the design file it will be available in the channel just check out the description of this video then open it up and start working also uh try to subscribe try to like the videos and let us see and hear from you what you are doing please feel free to reach out i've been receiving several messages i don't want to call names <laughs> well thank you for reaching out i would like to hear more from you let us know how we are doing and hope you are getting it easy to implement what you are saying this will be the end of this class today and in the next class we'll talk about how we would design the footer and the header we'll change all of this remove this title and maybe this footer will even remove it or we can leave it it depends but we we'll, would we'll explore how all of this will be done thank you for your time i'll see you in the next class till then keep building